Hello everyone and welcome to a new rebuild. This time we're doing Aberdeen. Sorry, I don't know what that was, but I just had to say Aberdeen. So guys, today we're going to be rebuilding Aberdeen. And that's it. Let's just get straight into it because we're going to have to take a long time on this because it's in FIFA, not really the strong team to start with. Once winners of the European Super Cup and the European Cup Winners Cup. Now they're just a... I mean, not really small team, but they're still, it, like, continent, continental-wise, they're still a small team at the moment. So, today we're trying to rebuild them into a Champions League winning side. And first of all, we're going to be promoting our Youth Academy player with Gordon McIntosh. Going to change him to a striker, and then his overall rating will be growing to 70 overall. And he's going straight in the starting lineup. And the first thing we do as manager of Aberdeen is sign our goalkeeper Jay Gorter from Ajax for three million pounds he's already on loan here but I thought you know what he's a young goalie with a lot of potential so we're gonna keep him and the second player joining us is gonna be Minchev the Bulgarian joining us from from Sparta Praha for 2.2 million pounds and the final player joining us is going to be Alexander Patu Pantea Jesus from Chelsea for 1.8 million pounds and of course, because it's the first season, we're going to be selling a, a lot of players from the first team. And, well, I mean, not quite a lot as usual, but still quite a lot of players. And after selling and buying a lot of players, this is how the team looks like. I changed the formation to a 4-4-2 because I think it suits this team really well. And let's just see how well we do halfway through the season. And halfway through, and I mean, fourth place isn't that bad, really. I mean, I was hoping third, but I didn't really realize that Hearts was going to be doing so well. So, yeah, I mean, not, nothing really disappointing, so we're just going to move on. But quickly, before we move on, we do sell a few players in this transfer window, in the January transfer window. And these are the three players that are leaving us. And we stay fourth towards the end of the season. Hearts fell down to third and somehow rangers pulled it back and became first while celtic finished second in the league which i mean still is pretty good for us realistically because we still stay fourth nothing really special about that st johnstone losing i mean not really losing the league but you know what i mean and in the cup something special happened and we're, we could be able to win our first trophy this season so we're going to be playing the scottish cup final so we could win Aberdeen's first trophy in 10 years, I believe. It, I could be completely wrong. I'm sorry if I am. But I'll be honest, that doesn't really matter in this video. Because this video is about Aberdeen winning something. And this time, I mean this match, we could definitely win something. Because Celtic is our opponent. I mean, nothing really saying anything about Celtic. Because it's still a really good team compared to ours. But we already beat Rangers and Rangers beat them to the league. So I think it is possible to win our first cup here. And we do get the first chance in the game. Five minutes in with Kennedy grabbing the ball of the defender. And McIntosh dribbling around the whole defense. Shooting and hitting the post. And that could have been the goal that won us the cup. But it sadly wasn't. Celtic now on the attack. More. O'Reilly. Good save by our goalie. Minchev. Wait for the run, wait for the run, place it. McIntosh, second chance of the game. Can he finish it now? McIntosh, he can't. But Duck can. Duck, I mean, don't really know how to say his name, but Duck finishes the chance that McIntosh got. And we get our first goal in this cup final that gives us the lead. The 1-0 lead. I mean, it isn't, a, it isn't a nice goal. It isn't as great as i wanted it to be but i don't care a goal is a goal and we're one nil up in not a lot of time late in the game now 80th minute Maira plays through to jota jota plays it back oh this is just complete and utter fifa bull crap i mean i don't even know i'm playing this game anymore man because this 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 just keeps happening to me it's one all and again it's just because of stupid defending and somehow after a really good match we have been we decided to make it go to penalties i mean don't really know why 
but we're gonna be going into penalties i mean we should have probably won it we had a lot of chances 3.7 expected goals and now it's on peno so it's just a 50 50 chance really if we're gonna win or not so let's just hope so the first penalty is going to be taken by maida maida good save by gorter our first penalty shinny i mean it's just awful timing by me and it's just really disappointing because we could have had a lead and somehow they go back to the same spot again and i don't realize they do that shit so mcintosh clean as cut one all in a penalty shootout mcgregor gonna shoot now gorter once again saves well they shoot in the bottom left corner duck now going the upper right corner and we're two we're one one point ahead we're one point ahead in the penalty shootout jota once again going to the left and again a great save by quarter last but potentially lost can pen by pen kennedy and somehow once again the chip gets them and we win the scottish cup from celtic take it away great performance by jay gorter by saving three penalties lovely job it's been a while for aberdeen aberdeen to win something in scotland and the first season that we're here we're already winning something and that's just a great step ahead and it just gives us a little bit of a money boost for next season so let's just go straight in to next season and our first signing of the second season is going to be jordan zemura joining us from bournemouth for 3.2 million pounds and i had to sell a lot of players to make this deal happen our most expensive transfer so far Ama Diallo is joining Aberdeen for 8.3 million pounds. And we also cite Jesse Gibbons for free, a free agent joining us, the 67 overall rated midfielder. And like I said in many videos before, we're not going to show every single free agent that we sign because sometimes they're just young talents that I want to buy so I can get a bit more money out of it, out of the club. So yeah nothing special there and this is what the team looks like in the sec at the start of the second season nothing special but we are getting there and halfway through the season we are third in the league which is an improvement of last time somehow rangers who won the league are fourth so i don't really get that but let's just see how we how we're doing in the europa league because we we did win the cup of course and i mean fourth is i think think still qualification for europa league in the scottish league so let's see how we're doing in that group we haven't made it through so i'm just gonna go skip to the end of the season maybe we win the conference league but probably not so let's just see how we're doing at the end of the season end of the season and we're still third in the league which like i said is it's still an improvement from last year so i don't mind it don't mind it at all and we go back to back in the scottish cup we win our second trophy with aberdeen uh i mean scottish cup like i said in videos before i haven't said it this time yet though we're only going to be playing one final of every competition in one video so yeah we're not going to be playing the scottish cup again conference league we didn't win it but we lost two eventual winners man united in the quarter finals so let's just see how we move on in the third season and our first signing of the third season is going to be a legendary player with leonardo bonucci joining us on a free and we sign another great player from our generation with Ivan Rakitic joining us for 7 million pounds. And another free agent joining us is Scott Carson just to sit on the bench but I thought you know what might as well be him. And we keep signing older players with Eden Dzeko also joining us for 10 million pounds. And these are all the players that we've sold. Uh, quite a few players leaving us but I mean that's just the way it is. Because we also need money to sign new players, of course. So that's the reason why we sold so many. And with the, these people leaving us and another few joining us, this is what the team looks like. And it's starting to look really, really good. And halfway through the season, we're doing really well. We're first in the league for the first time in this video. But not by much, though. Only two points above Celtic and only only six points above rangers who are in fourth so it's a really tight race and in the europa league we are through for the first time in this video we're through in a european competition which is great 
So let's just skip to the end of the season to see if we've done well. And before the final match of the season, we're still first in the league, but... I mean, we're second in the league, but we... Uh, it's one point difference between us and Celtic, and Celtic at home is the last match of this season. So we're going to be playing it, and we're hopefully going to be able to win our first league title. Aberdeen is, of course, the last team outside the Old Firm Derby that won. I mean, it's the last team outside the Old Firm Derby that won the league. And it was in 19... Wait, let me look. In the 1984-85 season. I mean, that's what Google says. So if I'm wrong, I mean, I'm not wrong. Google's wrong. So let's just hope that today we win the league for the first time in about 40 years. Diallo on the wing. Diallo keeps going, pace for days, Diallo cuts inside, pass the defender, good shot and hits the post. Somehow that wasn't the goal, good, good attack by Ama Diallo for us and it could have been one, but he gets his second chance here. Diallo goes past two defenders again, shoots and this time he does score to give us the lead and make it 1-0 to Aberdeen. Baron, Baron to Rakitic, Rakitic to Baron, to Minchev, Minchev. Good shot and a good goal. 2-0. Only 26 minutes being played. We're doing really well and we're gonna win the league. Baron again to Zeko. Zeko to Amadialo. Amadialo, have a pop mate. Have a pop mate. Have a pop mate. Have a pop mate. Good gracious me. What a beautiful goal by Amadialo on the volley. One, I mean two touches really, but what a goal by our former Man United winger, great finish, beautiful goal. That's absolutely amazing to make it 3-0 and shatter the hearts of Celtic fans. And I mean, if it wasn't clear already, we're winning the league. Minchev. Oh, keep going, keep going. Beautiful pass to McIntosh, McIntosh. You know what, try it as well, try it as well. Beautiful goal once again. I mean... To be honest, I was just shooting my shot. I know, really bad joke, but that is a good goal by McIntosh to win us the Scottish Premiership. And for the first time in 41 years, also including the years in game, of course, Haverdin win the league. It's, I mean, that's just beautiful. That's just, that's just beautiful to see. Sir Alex Ferguson was the last great manager to, 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 I mean, last great manager. That's something bad to say, right? That's, that's mean to say. But Sir Alex Ferguson was the last big manager that everyone knows the name of. And right now, Mr. Joel gets our then the Scottish Premiership title. 41 years it has been. And let's be honest... Could have been longer if we would we didn't game. So McGrory, you're gonna lift the title. One of the last players that was here from the starting lineup in lineup in the first season, and he wins it. He lifts it, lifts the trophy for us, and we win our first league title. Of course, by winning our first league title, I meant in the video. So don't cry about it in the comments. And somehow, like I don't know if you've seen this, seeing this, but. We didn't lose a single game this, se this season. We didn't lose a single game this season in Scottish football. We also won the cup again, of course. So we did do the double, but we didn't win the Europa League. I mean, didn't really expect to, I'll be honest. We lost to Leverkusen in the preliminary round. So not great, but could have been. And you know what? It's a great season. And I didn't really want to show you this, but Minches is leaving us for 66 million. And the reason why I didn't want to show you this is because I never showed transfers out. But this time the game didn't really leave me a choice. Because we signed a new player with Wilfried Gnonto joining us from Leeds for £36 million. And another player joining us from Leeds is going to be Disasi joining us from Leeds for £28 million to centre back. And we also signed a new midfielder with Alex Scott joining us for £13 million. And these are the players that we've sold this this transfer window nothing special but i mean we got a lot of money from minchev so 
We didn't really have to sell many players. And halfway through the season, we're second in the league. I mean, it's already going worse than the f f last season because we have lost a few games. But I don't really mind it. You can be unbeaten every single year. In the Champions League, did we go out of the group? Yes, we did. Second in the league. Somehow we got past Bayern München. And we're through together with Real Madrid. So let's see if we can actually get to the final. But before we move on to the end of the season, Jay Gorta is leaving us for May night for 55 million pounds. I just had to take the money because he's worth less, all right? <laughs> he's worth a lot less. And with all that money, we sign a younger and better keeper in Mamar Dashvili. I still don't know how to say his name, but you know who I mean. He used to be a keeper for Valencia. Now he's at Wolfsburg and we sign him for 46 million pounds. And after those signings, this is what the team looks like halfway through the season. I didn't want to show you the team at the beginning of the season just to see what it feels like halfway through the video. But maybe I should just show the team at the beginning point of the season. But we eventually do win the league. Rangers fell off really badly. They're, they've gone to third. And I mean, I'm just going to say this now. We're going to lose a couple of players next season. And again, we win the league. Back-to-back -back doubles. Uh, Champions League was won by Inter, so we didn't win the Champions League. So we have to go on for another season. But uh, what was I going to... Oh yeah, Bonucci and Rakitic are retiring. So we need to buy a new midfielder and a new defender in the next season. And we do sign a new midfielder with Illich joining us for £46 million from Brentford. And we also signed a new striker because I forgot to say that Jekyll was also retiring. We signed a Ronaldo Regen, uh, well, Diego Martins for £20 million. And we also signed a new centre back, but he's going to be playing right back with Teze joining us from Fiorentina for £46 million. And we also signed another midfielder with Tony Kroos joining us for £18 million from Liverpool. And once again, these are the players that we've sold. We've also sold Pantea, one of our first signings, for 74 million pounds. Still don't know how we got Arsenal to pay that. And we also sold Alex Scott, because 50 million pounds for him is also way too much. And after selling those players and buying a few others, this is what the teams looks like. McGrory still going strong. I mean, he's one of the lowest, lower rated players of our team, but it doesn't really matter because I'm keeping him till the end. And once again, halfway through the season, we're first in the league. This time, just three points above Celtic, so it could change. But let's just, I mean, let's be honest, it's expected that we win the league from this point on. Let's just see how, for, how well we've done in the Champions League group. And we've gone through, we've actually been become first in, the, in our group with Liverpool second. And Benfica losing out to Genk, so yeah, that's a surprise. Let's just see how we're doing at the end of the season. And at the end of the season, we're still first in the league. We've won the league again. Only one point between us and Celtic, which is a bit close for comfort. And we also win the Scottish Cup again. Two cups once more. We're becoming the new Celtic. And in the Champions League, somehow we made it to the final. Like, I'll be honest, I was thinking it would take at least two or three more seasons. But... We just had a few easy games going into the final. And now we're here. Rangers was the last Scottish Cup to be in a European final. But Aberdeen was the last one to win it. So let's keep it that way. That Aberdeen is the last one to win it. And do it one more time. Let's win Aberdeen's first Champions League title today, lads. Still don't know how we made it. I mean... We've won against Lazio, Liverpool. I mean, we've beaten them in the group. And we got Villarreal, which I'll be honest, I didn't really think was that good of a team in this career mode. So we're, we had a lot of luck to get here. Like half of our team aren't even walkouts yet. And most of the times you don't even get to like the quarterfinals with that team in career mode. But this Aberdeen team has something special. And that's McRory as captain. A Ronaldo regen. And McIntosh up top with Amadialo on the wings. We're, we're safe. I have a great feeling about this team. And that's all I want to say. But of course, I have to show Chelsea's team. And they have a really, really strong team, sadly. 
Don't know why Rodrigo De Paul is on the wing though. But, you know, it, uh, other than that, it's a good team. I mean, I've already told you like half of the formation for us. Zamora, Diassi and Teza are where they expected them to be. Mamada Shafili on goal, Kroos in the midfield together with Ilicic and Gnonto on the wing. Let's go Aberdeen. But Chelsea are the first ones to get a big chance here. With after I thought it was going to be a... I mean, a really bad free kick. A good save by Mamad Rashvili. And we're somehow still in this. That could have been a goal for Chelsea. I'll be honest. I, I ex was expecting it to be a free kick or a goal. Let's just be happy that it didn't happen. And a good pass by Tony Kroos. Plays Gnonto 2 against James. Gnonto plays it back to McIntosh. McIntosh cuts inside. Shoots. And we get our first goal in the final in our first chance. It's our first chance and our first goal. We're 1-0 up and it's going to be a tough battle because Chelsea have been better so far. So we have to keep this lead against the stronger squad. And here Havertz plays it through to Lamar. And then Taser with a beautiful challenge which somehow gets given as a penalty. Like I'm... I'll be honest... Chelsea are buying, buying their way to another Champions League. This can't be a pen. Like, even after watching the replays, this isn't a pen. It's a great tackle. He didn't even touch the player, man. Chelsea are buying the league. They keep crying about Barcelona buying it against them. But they're doing it here. They're doing it here. It, this can't be real. Like, we shouldn't even have gotten a penalty against us. But Mamad Rashafili... Keeps us in it and saves the pen from Oshiman. So it doesn't even matter. McIntosh sees the run from Ahmed Diallo. Somehow gets there. Diallo. 99 pace. Diallo. Beautiful pass to McIntosh. McIntosh. Good save by the keeper. McGrory plays to Illich. Illich sees the run from Diallo. Diallo once again. 99 pace. Fastest on the field. Diallo. Can he play it through again? Through again to McIntosh and again a good save by the keeper. Don't know how he's saving these shots, but he is. So he keeps Chelsea in the game. Oshiman Disasi, get there. Ah, oh, that's a bad challenge. Could be a red. Isn't going to be a red. It's going to be a yellow. Could have been worse, I'll be honest. FIFA has given me reds for worse things than that. I mean, less... Uh, not, not worse things than that. Like... Better challenges than that have gotten a red card. So don't know why they changed their mind. But I don't really mind that at all. Really bad shot from Lamar. Mama is really all on the counter. Going at the counter. Diallo. Playing through. Martins. The Ronaldo regen. Martins in the 81st minute. Martins. Beautiful chip. And it's 2-0. And he shatters the dreams of the Chelsea fans. Number seven, Martens, the new Cristiano Ronaldo, with a beautiful goal. Mr. Champions League is back, just in a different body. And this time he scores for Aberdeen to give them the first Scottish European final in such a long time. And like I said before the match, Aberdeen is now, I mean, it's the second I know it's the third time they've won a European competition and it's the first time since 1984 no 1983 I'm sorry I'm, uh, I'm sorry I had one year off but that doesn't matter because we win it this time much quicker than expected and I'll be honest I had a lot of fun making this video like I say I know I say it a lot and I'll be honest uh, sometimes I do say it and I don't really mean it but this time I had a lot of fun to rebuild Aberdeen and give them the first actual Scottish Champions League title win. McRory was here from us, with us from the start. He lives it now as a captain of Aberdeen. Lives their first Champions League. And I want to thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. And I'll see you around. Goodbye. Oh, and before I go... Let me know which teams I should do next.